Good morning to you all. You know what time it is, don't you? As soon as you see what I'm sharing, you know it's pay yourself first. Every week when I go to the bank to make sure I have money for food, gas, and anything else we need for the week, I always pay myself first. I put the money in the bank for savings. It's up to me to figure out how to budget the rest of the week with what I have left. Now, I did put an extra $50 in this last week of February. Gave us a total of $860.06. I am pretty proud of myself that I've managed to keep saving and we're right on the money this time around. I'm hoping that I can make the 5200 for the year if I can just get that 100 in every week. I didn't make it last year, but I still managed to save over 4000 So this year, I'm going to try to throw a little bit extra in if I have extra to throw in. And it's getting pretty hard because everything is going up really bad here. I don't know how the rest of the, you guys are doing in the rest of the country. My gas bill was $89 for a winter bill just a couple of months ago, and that's about normal for my winter bills. I have never had a gas bill ever over $100, even in a cold winter spell. Last month, it was $209. This month, it was $304. Keep in mind, just a couple of months ago, it was $89. Have you all had the same experience, or is it just us here in Southern California? I know here in Southern California, everyone is having this problem. And they said before this last bill came out, they were going to drop the gas bill down 60%. And what happened? Almost another hundred dollars extra, extra, went out. Uh, it's getting pretty scary. How bad it's going to get? And they also said that we, our June bills will be like our ga gas bills. So that means it'll probably double or triple also. Then I heard how little inflation is taking off. I tell you, an extra two hundred dollars. Well, it wouldn't be two. No, what would it be? Yeah, I guess it would be. It'd be over $200 more in one month just for my natural gas bill. That sounds more than a 2% hike in inflationary. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that's how it feels pretty hard to me. And it's going to be really hard to uh, keep saving. But I am going to do more posts that don't cost me any money. I'm going to find other things I can talk about, and we might go back to doing a few little chit chats, and that doesn't cost me money either. I had a friend of mine tell me she really missed our little chit chats, so I may start doing one of those a month or a week. I don't know yet. I'm trying to get out of spending so much money for this channel, because it's getting hard. And saving this money, I don't count that as costing me money at all because I'm paying myself first. Yes, I'm paying myself first. And you know how I did that? I got out of debt. What we did, you're not going to believe it, 15 years ago, uh, my husband lost his job. And we were already, uh, you know, like 60 years old. And um, he didn't plan on going back to work. Uh, he figured he'd just go on Social Security. So that's what he did. And um, hard to believe when that happened, I had the big wake-up call. We had to really change our lifestyle or we weren't going to make it. I took the smallest bill we had and I paid it off. Don't ask me how I did it since we took a $20,000 cut in pay when he stopped working. I mean, we did have Social Security coming in, but still, it was 20000 less than what he was working. Then I took the next bill, once I got that bill paid off, and I put every penny extra on that bill, 
plus the small bill that I just paid off. And I went down the line with each bill we had. Took me three years of not going out to eat, uh, watching my pennies, but we, able, we were able to pay our bills off in um, three years from, I mean, everything. And I then we started remodeling our house because now we had freed up money because we had paid off all our bills. And my friend said to me, why don't you take out a home improvement loan to do this? Because it took us about five or six years to remodel the house. And when I say remodel, we had to put a new kitchen in because it was really getting in bad shape. Putting a new roof on because it was starting to get in a bad shape. So these were big, expensive things. Now, I didn't do as much as some people when I say remodel, but it took us like five years to do that. And we paid as we went. We'd save up enough money for a project and we would do it. And I told him we fought our way out of debt and we weren't going back in. And in five or six years, whatever it took us to redo the house, we got it done. Everything was paid for. So it's possible, guys. You just have to plan. And we're going to start talking about how we did our, how we do our finances, how we got where we're at. And everything you see on my channel, all the posts that you see and all the things you see me buying, I'm not going into debt. I'm paying cash for whatever I put up. But things are really getting bad, and I don't think they're going to get better. I think they're going to get even worse. And I feel like I need to start saving even more money, and people are probably saying, how can you save more money when things are getting worse? You can do it. I'm doing it. You can see I added an extra $50 in this savings account, so it's possible. Well, we'll uh, see you the next video about what I'm saving, and I'm paying myself first. Thank you all for coming by. Love you all so much. Hope I've encouraged you all to try to pay off that debt.